Hello everyone, welcome back. So I'm in my 90s anime phase, so I thought I should do another style study. So I'm sure you've noticed by now, but I'm uh, changing these style studies depending on the subject and what I think might fit the video and what we can learn. So for this anime, which I really love, I decided to um, well start doing a study on the facial expressions because I, I think they're really expressive and they, they look fun and also fun to study. We, we can maybe learn a lot of things from them on how to make expressive looking characters. Okay, so, so let's get started. So I'm going to make a new layer and uh, usually I start off with a grid but I don't think it, I, there is a need in this case just because because we have such an expressive character, it's a bit hard to pinpoint the well, the actual grid. So what I'm actually going to do is just take this drawing and make just two lines here. So we can actually see that the eyes are actually occupying a lot of the face and the lower part of the face, including the nose and the mouth, are almost the same size as the eyes. So that's really all we need to know. And the female has almost around um, head shape, while the male usually have a more oval shape. So something like this. However, the lines are kind of the same. So we have the chin here, we have the eyes around here, and we have the eyebrow. So even in the male shape, we can actually see this one is just a tiny bit smaller than this line, so not too much of a difference. That's why we have a more oval shape here and a more rounded head for the female. And that's uh, really all about it. So let's uh, let's go ahead and just try and exaggerate some features to to see if we can get a grasp on the star. So let's uh, let's go and let's go for this face. So I have a circle here. Oops, let's go with a darker color. So I have a circle here. I'm going to make the chin line, the almost the middle of the circle line, and here maybe the eyes. And let's go for the middle of the head here. And I'm observing she has uh, prominent cheeks. So let's do that. Let's uh, let's draw like a simple almost a rounded triangle shape okay. and one shape like this and good so we kind of have the base head so on this line where usually the nose is we also have the ears and the ears don't don't really go down in the cheek I mean they go just a bit so they're round and they go something like this and something like this. So the same line, we have the earrings, which are just simple circles. And for the face, we have like a triangle for the mouth. And we can add details afterwards. The nose almost goes like this. So just a straight line and pointy. And after you do that, you just erase a bit of the <laughs> pointiness <laughs> and make it just a bit rounder, okay? But the nose is a tiny bit smaller, so we add that for a minute. Okay, and for the eyes, well, we, we have two almost semicircle, and that's about it. <laughs> so again, they're very expressive. I think it's really fun to do this, so type of studies and just uh, I guess not not worry too much about trying to make it perfect just try to make it as expressive as you can and for the eyebrows they go a bit up from this line that I made so they go something like this okay and the hair just we have the middle of the uh, bangs and the sides and that's about it so 
something like this and this part the sides and now we're just going to make the hair straight Again, it doesn't need to be perfect and you don't need to spend too much time on it, just try and uh, grasp the proportions and the style. So let's, uh, let's try this one. So we have a circle for the head. And uh, as I said before, uh, she has a rounded head. I'm not going to go too much here for the rest of the face, so I'm actually going to try and keep it closer to the uh, circle. Okay, let's make a line here because we uh, have um, a semi profile. Okay, and then let's uh, do a line here and calculating here and make another line here so I, I just want this line to be similar to this line as I talked before because I know here I'm going to add the eyes and this part is a uh, similar size so let's uh, let's add the nose which is again starting almost like this flat and pointing a bit up so something like this okay and uh, on this line or close to this line again it's a stylized so it's fine we have the the cheek okay and it's going inwards and almost on a straight line up so after that we're going down to the chin and up to the ear which the ear should be somewhere around here again almost on the same line like this and the earring okay and we have the mouth that's also occupying a, a lot of the jaw so something like this again it's another triangle just we're rounding the corners up a bit more and the line here for the teeth okay and for the eyes let's uh, keep them in this zone and uh, i guess i forgot to mention it but her eyes almost have this shape so like this however this corner is almost pointing down so this is the eyelashes from the bottom and this is the eyelashes from the top and depending on the expression we actually move this corner up or down so in this case let's see we have this corner almost a bit down because she's surprised okay and this corner is also a bit down as a um, char characteristic of the character. <laughs> okay. okay. And uh, from here, we can actually make a smaller line so we can connect. However, we don't need to um, fully connect it. We, we can just leave it like two small lines. And then we have the eyelashes and the eyes which are a bit smaller so we see a lot of the eye whites the, the white of the eye <laughs> okay. and for the other eye just try and keep it on the same line so maybe here is the bottom of the eye the this corner <laughs> okay and it goes something like this okay. 
Okay, and now I kind of need to repair this line here because it was going too much into the eye. So we don't really want that. We want just a bit of space in between them. Not all the time, just <laughs> just sometimes. It, it's going to help in making it more expressive. Okay, and the eyelashes. And uh, because this character is a bit surprised, we we can actually add the neck here, and it will look like she's looking a bit down. However, if we make it a bit like this, it will look like. Um, well, she got scared of something and just took a step back, so it's, a <laughs> it's really easy just to change a few lines and make it have a different reaction. Okay, for the hair, let's, uh, let's think again. So we have the middle of the head, somewhere around here. We have the middle bangs and the side bangs. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to separate this into different strands. So we have one up, one like this, one like this, one here, and one here. And just, uh, just play around until you find a shape that you like. spend more time on this if you like to I uh, actually just like well oh, the eyebrows I forgot the eyebrows but the eyebrows are a bit up something like this okay well, what was I talking about you can uh, take as long as you need with this kind of studies or as short as you need so sometimes I just do a few of them in a few minutes just so I can well practice and and try learning something else so let's now <laughs> let's do a few more to make a new layer let's uh, let's do this one so we have a circle and oops a circle I said I'm not going too much underneath it as a practice I really go down here so in this case let's uh, let's try stop here and I'm making another line here okay <laughs> okay and uh, let's see and another line here so where the eyes should stop okay and on this line, well, a bit down because we, we are looking down, I'm going to have the line cheek. No lines for the cheeks. <laughs> okay, maybe here. And then now let's just try and place it somewhere close to the middle here. So maybe something like this. Okay. And um. Yeah, I think I, I said I'm going to add the eyes here <laughs> and it's a bit too high up because we're looking down so let's add them closer to this line, this middle line that I already made so one here, one here and the mouth. Okay, and uh, since the character is looking down, let's start the hair from up here. So again, let's uh, do the middle of the bangs and the side like this and a bit up for volume. So <laughs> let's play around with this shape. So I have one here, 
maybe one here. I'll stop here. I just kind of want to get the grass from the start. So just one more. <laughs> Let's do this one. So even if you know you you want to do more expressive faces, you can still start the same way. So we have a circle. We have maybe here. That's going to be the chain. Let's make a middle of the line, and let's. Uh, Add a line here for where the nose should be and the line here so this part is similar to this part oops <laughs> okay so because I have an mm, what it's called a confused expression feels like I can actually go a bit down with the the cheek okay. and also the mouth you can add it just closer to the chin <laughs> okay and for the eyes I can do the same just make them a very simple shape okay and uh, you don't need to add too many details because it's already easy to use. So, because it's um, it's this kind of expression where you actually have your eyes up and your whole face kind of falls down. We can actually do the hair just a bit downwards. So, I. It, Instead of starting it here, I will start it here. So the middle of the fangs and the sides. Okay. So let's add some details here. One here. And a few here. Actually, I think I can make this a bit wider. Okay. And here as well. And I also can see the back of the head. Just because, again, the face is kind of falling down and the eyes are getting wider. So the whole part of the top of the head you can also make it look more expressive okay, and, uh, you can also add the hand again and the glove sometimes you can just use simple shape and just make it very expressive so it's a fun thing to try if you want to okay so i think i'll leave this like uh, they are and i think i'm going to go into a bit of a color study so for the colors i think uh, it's uh, it's pretty obvious they're using 
bright tones and happy colors however depending on the storyline and where the direction and the mood is going sometimes you will have a more desaturated color so for now let's uh, let's uh, try and do a color study so the reason i first preferred to do the warm-up sketches if you want to call them is because the first time you look at this you're like Probably, maybe you don't really understand what's happening and it might look confusing to draw. So just applying whatever we've learned up until now, we can actually, you know, simplify it. So let's start off with a circle again. Let's uh, add around here maybe the chin line. Let's add the middle line. Let's make a line here for where the cheek is going to go and another similar line maybe around here for the eyes so just based on what we've done up until now we can actually just do the same shapes that we did before so we have the the cheek a bit outside okay we have the ear somewhere around here and the earring around here and we have the eyes on this line, so we're going with the same shape like this and a bit down. And we're going a bit down as I uh, told you before, I think it's a character, a specific style. <laughs> okay, that uh, the lower eye eyelid, okay, it's uh, pointing down just a bit. And we have the eyelashes which are very long and the eye goes something like this so it's a very oval type of eye okay and uh, the eyebrows are pointing down because we're a bit um, well not happy <laughs> okay and for the other one let's uh, do the same so keeping it in the same uh, size and a bit down okay and just uh, as previously talked about let's have a bit of space here okay actually I think I can point this way a bit downwards as well maybe even this one let's do that let's uh, try and repair we see some mistakes because if we repair them later, maybe we, you know, we'll forget about them, so. Okay, and the eyebrow, like this. And the nose, again, let's try and keep it on the same line here. But if I do that, it's going to be like this. And I feel like maybe I have to repair the middle of the line as well. So maybe just add it a bit. Uh, a bit <laughs> on the left okay so let's uh, try and delete this so i won't get confused and if i do that i also have to uh, switch the chin just a bit to the left okay so let's do the eye i <laughs> the nose something like this okay and for the mouth again we can start off with the triangle again and just make it very very large or almost close to the eye so like this okay and after i got the basic shape down and i understand what's happening i can exaggerate a bit more so i can actually go take this uh, line mouth up towards the eye and I'm going to make a few lines that are specific for the character as well. And let's do the earring here, so almost on the same line. And I think I think I need to make the eyebrow even more angled. <laughs> so maybe something like this. Okay. For the eye. We have the highlight here and the middle of the eye here. 
and I, I think that that's enough. Enough, okay. And uh, the neck somewhere around here. And let's do the hair as well. So let's start it somewhere around here. And uh, the same thing. One, two, three. And uh, add extra details on it. So let's see. Exaggerate the shape a bit. Two. Okay. And, and this is an imaginary point, you know, you can always delete it afterwards. So, this is just a, a helping point. I, I think I'll call it that. Like this. And like this. And the back of the head. So actually the head is kinda small like this, but let's let's add a bit of volume to the hair. And there we have grasp the <laughs> idea and the shape of the character and turn um, something that might look a bit complicated to understand into you know small points so we can follow and after that you can just go ahead and add more details if you want to so let's uh let's try and jump into the color i'm going to make a new layer and place it in it and let's uh, try and see if I can do the colors. Alright, so maybe this one for the screen. No, that's too grey. Okay, maybe this one and make it a bit lighter. Ah, oh, let's, let's check this one out. Let's see if we like it. Let's do the mouth now. Maybe, maybe this one. Okay, maybe this one. And you, you don't need to spend too much time on it. I'm not going to detail it very much. I just want to understand the color that they choose and the, the shape of the character, not the proportions. Maybe... Maybe this color for the hair. Maybe like this. Okay. And here. And for the highlight looks to be very very bright, so Let's go with this one, and it's also in a, in a zigzag pattern, so... Maybe something like this, and let's uh, do the eyes as well. Okay, and just let's add the 
my words and the highlight and let's uh, do the earrings as well since it's a pretty pretty gold color okay and uh, i think i forgot to add the shadow for the face here and here and I guess the headband which looks almost black ok let's, uh, let's check it out see how we did so this is the hair and it should have been just a bit light Let's uh, try and repair that. Maybe just a bit, bit lighter. Okay. Let's check again. Oh, it's similar. Good. Let's do the shadows now. Shadows are almost similar as well. And the highlight. Well, I think they're kind of similar. I think I just should have gone a bit, just a slight lighter nuance. Again, uh, I know it's different and we have different tones, <laughs> but we just kind of want to find a similar color, so just just for our own practice. Okay, let's check the skin color. And I think mine looks a bit afraid. Oh. For some reason. I don't know, it's just a bit more orangey. Okay, let's, uh, let's do that as well. So maybe it's a bit like this. Okay. Okay, I think they're similar. Let's check them out. Oh, I didn't quite got that right so let's uh, let's try it again maybe a more intense color okay no they look similar now okay and for the earring hmm. yeah i think i need to go a bit more um, orange instead of yellow so maybe like this let's try it again okay I think it can work And then a second look, I think I can actually just... Mm, what is it? Use the liquify tool and just exaggerate even more the shape. So. There we go. Maybe. Maybe like this. Again, sometimes it doesn't <laughs> go well in the first try, however the base is there, so you can just work around with it and around it and uh, just add more details or repair things if you need to. Let's uh, move on to another one. So, let's see, should we do this one or the upper one? 
Oh, let's do this one because we have one eye closed. So might be interesting. I think I forgot to lower the opacity. <laughs> it's okay. So we start off with a circle. We add the line in the middle-ish. We make a line for the chin around here. And now we're going to do two lines in similar shape or size. Okay. And let's see. Let's go up here to the chin. Let's go a bit up around the shape. And let's go up. Okay, now we have the base head shape. We have the ears somewhere around here, so somewhere around here. And we have the earrings here. And I think I... There. <laughs> I made it a bit too rounded. Okay. okay, let's add the nose around here. So, something like this. Okay, so for the mouth, a triangle like this and after that we can add details okay and on this uh, zone let's add the eyes so this one is closed okay and we have the eyebrow a bit up and this one the same shape just going downwards okay we have the eyelashes and the eye and we have this line just going a bit down so the nose is in the way <laughs> okay. the highlight and the line okay. Okay. and the earring almost on the same line so let's uh, quickly make the hair. So around here we have this part, we have this part, and we have the middle. So we have this part, this part, this part. Okay. Okay, and uh, lastly, let's add the lines on the cheek and I think I think just a bit maybe I need to <laughs> scrub the cheek just a bit okay so now we have a rounder face okay and the neck is like here A bit smaller. <laughs> Let's leave 
make it like this. Let's make a new layer. Just uh, try and pinpoint the colors. So I'm going with this one for the hair. this one I needed to make it a slight, slight desaturated color. Okay, maybe like this. Okay, one more check and I'm moving on. Yeah. 
as the anime and the studies we've did up until now. And I think that's about all. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And see you next time. Bye bye.